Like I was living on insure, like living on insure. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. So for today, quick thing, I'm gonna go to the orthodontist. They're gonna come with me. We're gonna tighten my braces and all that. And I'm gonna be talking about the whole experience so far with braces. So let's go. So I wasn't really able to film while I was getting it done but i have some clips from the last time that i went that um can show you so i'm gonna insert those now So, as I said, I want to talk about my whole braces experience. I already have a video talking about the cost breakdown of braces. I'll link it here in the iCard. Go and check that video out. Very informative. So, my braces journey is with Island Smiles. So how this starts is either I guess it can be referred by your dentist or you can just make an appointment yourself to go to the orthodontist. I went the route of making the appointment myself and Alan Smiles and made an appointment. So for Alan Smiles, they're very booked. Don't be alarmed if you get a date for all three, four months from now. That's how booked they are luckily what you can do in the meanwhile is save towards making your deposit for the braces again cost breakdown will be linked here so you can check that out um so when it is that you have that first appointment what they actually do is they'll take pictures of your smile from different angles and then they also take some x-rays of your teeth so before they even take the pictures and the x-ray there's a conversation and they ask you really and truly what you're concerned about with your teeth so for me i said well i had a gap in the middle so i told them my gap and my overbite so i explained to them what i want to achieve using braces and then all of that that plus the picture plus the x-rays they're put together and then you go and talk to another person after that that person that you go and talk to they really discuss the whole process and journey of braces with you they let you know that okay you have different types of braces they let you know that um sometimes in, some, that sometimes in your braces journey you have to get extractions or you might need to have additional appliances so whether that be headgear or whatever else you would need so it's like a consultation really so the first visit is a consultation and all these things are discussed with you they talk about um how you're gonna pay in that consultation where they're talking to you then dr meeks or dr allen will come I'm gonna basically look at your teeth do an orthodontic exam i'd call it so they're going to look at what your bite type is they're going to look at if you have any malocclusions meaning i think like overbite i don't know if you, if you have any spacing all of that eight notations of what will need to be fixed and in that same consultation um they actually also take a 3d image of your teeth or your mouth well your teeth rather all that is done now they're going to ask you when do you want to start this process so i told them girl child now like on this now <laughs> so after that first consultation, I got an appointment the following week to put on my braces. So for me, when I went to that first appointment, I made my deposit on the braces. I think, I think, I think you can either make it there at the consultation or you can make it when it is that you are coming to actually put on said braces. So after the consultation was the appointment to put on the braces. So when you went to put on the braces now, they're going to put the thing in your mouth to like widen up your jaw. They're going to 
put on the bracket itself that's what the that's what the rubber bands go on so they're gonna put on your bracket and then put on your first set of bands personally seeing yourself with braces for the first time is a shock like when i saw myself i was like oh my gosh i'm so ugly um but you do get used to it also because this is something new in your mouth you're gonna talk weird for the first few weeks um for me i had a lisp i still kind of ish have it but it definitely isn't as bad as before like i had a really bad lisp like i could not say s it was f like it was really bad <laughs> so you you may have some speech impediments here and there but for me it has resolved kind of and it's not as bad as before um i assume that when these come out of my mouth then i'm gonna go back to talking fully like normal so for the first day when i got the braces the pain level to be honest wasn't awful as yet like it i would say it was like a four to five out of ten i did try to take pain medication to kind of counteract the onset of the pain but either way by day two y'all i couldn't eat i when i said my mouth hurt me my mouth hurt me <laughs> i couldn't eat like i was living on insure like living on insure because it hurt so bad and it's like day three it seemed like it hurt worse i think by the end of the week the pain was subsiding a little bit and for me i don't know about anybody else but with my experience taking painkillers did not really help me and I tried to take um, anti-inflammatory painkillers and that never really helped me. I don't think I really found anything that really helps with the pain per se. Maybe like sometimes when I drink something cold it kind of feels like a little bit better. But like medication wise I don't think I found something that actually helps with the pain. If you guys know in the comments let me know but I have found anything that helps. Um, there's one thing that I'm going to be trying now. I'm going to be trying a gel. So I'm going to put it on the teeth and see if it helps with the pain. Because trust me, when you first get the braces, the pain is unbelievable. But as I said, by that, the first week, it kind of subsided a little bit. At week two, week three, I wasn't really in that much pain at all. Like it was very minimal. Um, but, but to me it does take your teeth longer to get used to it when you just put on the braces because my appointment after that where I had to put on power chains I have on, I have on power chains now so power chains are basically it's a continuous rubber band so it's used to close the gaps in your teeth so with that power chain I actually closed the gap that was right here I had a big gap right there so <laughs> I closed that gap and yeah so basically power chains close the gaps in the teeth so that was the first time using a power chain of course and it really hurt when I have on the regular bands like that that only go around the bracket singularly it doesn't hurt that bad but the power chains because it's because because it's because they're really shifting the teeth it really hurts um i would say also at 10 the pain was sometimes like an eight or a nine and i have a very high pain tolerance but sometimes it was like boy but then the gap closed and i was like oh who's this new girl she's looking cute so it's worth it to me it's changed though the pain really lasted I would say no more than a week like after a week I was pretty much fine or a week and a half at most then it became very comfortable I, really never, I never really had had any problems by my fourth appointment I took off the power chains and then I put on the regular bands each appointment they change the wire they change the wire in the braces so there is wire in so there's a wire in between the bracket i'll put some pictures in, in in this video to help and they normally put a thicker one so that it can tighten more each visit so for my fourth visit they change the wire and then after that they put on the regular bands and as i said like it never really hurt that much 
it was like a two to three out of ten at most for the pain level for this appointment now i got power chains again i don't know if you can see them i still i still do a close-up video i got power chains again because they're trying to close some more gaps in my teeth um i didn't change my wire this time around though just i just put on the power chains so really and truly each time you go to the orthodontist all that all they're doing is tightening but they have to but they have to tighten over a period of time so they'll either add the, add the power chains to close up the gaps or they'll put on a thicker wire or even both you know but i want to talk about oral hygiene and braces i'm guilty of not doing these things sometimes but because you have on braces you really have to ensure that your oral hygiene is up ensure that you brush your teeth twice a day or like even after meals and all of that you have to really take care of your teeth and it's really hard and you have to floss and it tends to be really hard to floss with braces because of course you can't just put the thread through you have to actually use something that we call a threader that you put the floss through I, I wish I had one here with me <laughs> you have to put the floss through the through the threader then you tie it up then you put it like out it's a whole big thing for, for unflossing it manually like it will take you like it used to take me 30 minutes to just brush my teeth like like do the whole routine like it became so annoying and what i did is i bought a water floss to kind of help personally i still think that me doing it manually works better but the water floss does work good though it does um so yeah so the so I'd say if you're gonna get braces, you get a water floss. Um, please, it might help. So, you have to ensure your floss and all of that. Um, ensure that you keep up with your dental cleanings at your regular dentist. And you should actually be going than you normally would if you never had on the braces. Um, because, as I said, braces can make it very hard for you to clean your teeth. So you, should, so you should maybe triangle every three months I'm no orthodontist put that out there but triangle every three months or so um, and yeah so that's really my experience with my braces so far I'm loving the results so far I'm gonna share a picture up to show you guys the progress cuz honey we've made progress okay <laughs> this smile like it's not what it was trust and believe like literally so these are the power chains right bro this normally normally when i smile big gap big gap but look at this no gap like no gap so like i love my progress so far and i'm gonna show you guys some pictures and videos so you guys can see the progress i've made in like four or five no it's not gonna that maybe six months or so or seven i don't know but we've made progress i'm gonna show you guys but yeah if, if you have any questions about braces i don't think i left anything but let me know if you have any questions about braces if i can answer it i definitely will but yeah that's the end of this vlog video it wasn't really a vlog because i could even video the inside of the place i sure know them i do it but anyways um, don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and I appreciate you guys so so much my subscriber count has been going up and I'm so grateful I really want to get to a thousand subscribers and you guys are helping me and I thank you so much um, but yeah that's it hope you enjoyed bye guys